Hi everybody, this is Lizzie Filkins, Humane Educator from Berkshire Humane Society. Um, I have a pro tip for you today. Um, it's something I do in all my camps and with my kids and Humane Heroes, uh, is design your own animal shelter. So, stuff you'll need. I prefer graph paper, uh, it helps with the lines, but you can use white paper, that's totally fine. We've got some markers, we've got some different sh shapes of rulers, pencil, eraser, always very important. And um, then you're ready to get cracking. So first your child would have to decide what kind of animal shelter they want to do. So uh, in my versions, it's just a traditional dog, cat, and critter. Uh, but they could do a horse rescue if you got horse fan fans. They could do a wild tiger rescue, whatever. Um, it's whatever they want. Um, also, I like to say sky's the limit with funding. So build it as extravagant as you want. Make it your dream shelter. So what goes in an animal shelter? Well, if we're thinking about Berkshire Humane Society, we've got dogs, cats, and critters. So all of those places need a spot. All those uh, little critters need a spot. Then I was thinking meet and greet room. So for doggy adoptions, a meet and greet room for kitty adoptions. And then maybe a feature room for just puppies or a feature room for just kittens. Um, then you have to think about grooming. Where are you going to do? Draw blood? Give them a bath? Um, you need to think about an entrance. Is it a front desk? Is there a lobby? Uh, and then is your shelter going to take surrenders? So with surrenders it can be very emotional so you want to keep them maybe in a separate private entrance that way they don't have to interact with other people and ha get questioned. Um, you got bathrooms. And one thing that we wish we always had more of is storage, I can tell you that. I know that the woman who's filming this lacks, her office used to be a storage closet, <laughs> but now it's her office. <laughs> so lots of storage. Uh, we need a supply closet, a janitor's closet, um, maybe an outside playpen area. And then of course a staff break room, or, uh, and you can even include a classroom like we have here at BHS. So once they get the, all of those bits and bobs down and write them all out, then they can start mapping it out. This is some of the ones that I got from camp, layouts I got from camp. And then, oh, the most important thing is you gotta name your shelter. So it'll be the Julia's Wicked Cool Shelter. <laughs> And then, if you want, you can color it in and put it on a larger white piece of paper. So this is just some fun activity that you could do with your kids. All kids love animals, at least most of them. Um, and this would be a good activity for them to think and design and lay out their very own animal shelter.